How's it going guys, it's Josh here. Now you all know how much I love LEDs, but there's only so many places you can stick LED strips. So what we've got here today is a really nice little LED lamp from Orky. Now you've probably heard of Orky before, they make some quality stuff, mostly chargers, cables and power banks, but they now also make this LED lamp. And I'm so impressed with it in fact, that despite Orky sending me this unit for review, I've actually ordered myself another one. So let's start the review. So we get a simple cardboard box and inside we find the power cable, a manual and the lamp itself. Nothing too exciting here. Now even when this thing is turned off, it actually still looks quite cool. It's very modern looking and it almost doesn't really resemble a lamp. It looks more like some sort of Amazon Echo type smart home device. The touch section of the lamp near the bottom is this matte silver material and it contrasts quite nicely with the high gloss acrylic on the top section. Obviously this part is translucent to let the light through but when the lamp is off it's basically opaque, you can't see through it. On the bottom of the lamp we find this non-slip rubber surrounding the edge to stop it from sliding about, which works pretty well, it's glued on firmly too so that's good. Overall I just really like the design, it feels good quality too, for example the join between the two different sections is perfect, there's no horrible bits of plastic sticking out. The front of the lamp is indicated by the placement of the Orky logo along with the LED indicator. So this thing is powered by mains only, there's no option for battery power, which would have been a welcome little bonus, especially if you could charge it up via micro USB or something and take it camping with you. Maybe that's something to bear in mind for future models. The power input is on the right hand side, that works quite well for me because I have it on the right hand side of my desk, but I think that most people would prefer to have it on the rear because you tend to route cables around the back. Having said that, the touch panel is 360 degrees, it doesn't matter where you touch it, so if you wanted to, you could spin it around to angle the power connector to wherever you want, which would also hide the logo, that might be a bonus for you. Moving on to the actual light in itself then, it's very simple to use, it can display 16 million colours, but it also functions as a normal lamp too. To use it as a normal lamp, just tap the bottom section, it has three levels of brightness and it adds a really nice ambience to the room without being overpowering. When you've reached brightness level 3, just tap it again to turn it off. To access all of the RGB colours, tap and hold the bottom section for a few seconds. It will then start auto cycling between all of the colours. If there's a particular colour you like, just tap it and it will pause on that colour. That's literally it. I really like the way this lamp diffuses the light. It glows pretty evenly. The colour of the normal lamp mode is sort of between a day white and warm white. I'm not sure how well the camera shows that. It would be quite good if it had brightness control for the RGB colours, but there we go. Just one thing to mention, don't put it on metal surfaces. I put it on top of my mini fridge when I first got it, and I was wondering why it was freaking out, but it's obviously because the touch section is conductive, and if you put it on metal, it's going to turn on. I would have thought the rubber on the bottom would have insulated it a bit, but it's probably just very sensitive. It does actually mention all this in the instructions, by the way, but who reads them anyway? And there we go. If you need a nice little modern LED lamp that can function normally or display any colour you want, then definitely pick this thing up. Like I said, I'm so impressed with it that I've ordered another. Hopefully we'll see a portable version one day and maybe a couple of extra features like brightness control for colours, but as it stands right now, it's still a very cool lamp. I'll drop the Amazon links in the description if you want to check it out. As always guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.